Today we're going to review the Redding T1484. Uh, this is in the Independence Fantasy Paint Scheme. If you'll notice, we have the streamer that runs down along the tender with the decal or the printing that shows the Independence and then the Eagles uh, carrying their streamer. This is number 7476. We have opening cab roof vents, brass blow-offs, brass whistle. We have a brass bell swinging around to the front of the locomotive. We have the lighted headlight, KD mounted coupler. That's two standards. In our NMRA standards. And then as we go to the fireman side view, again the paint scheme is replicated on this side. We have a fireman and an engineer in the cab. On this model it has a flickering firebox effect instead of a cab light. And then proceeding to the rear of the tender. We have a working backup light. This model has a plastic boiler shell and it seems to have excellent tractive effort. For the pull test, we're showing 7.0 ounces where it holds that. So now we'll look at the basic operating details of the locomotive. So I've already changed the address to 7476 so that I can use it with my NCE power cab. So first we'll start out with the startup sound by hitting F9. Because it's got the firebox flicker, we do not have a cab light. So on the lighting, you have the firebox flicker. We're going to use F8 to lower the volume because it's quite loud. So for the firebox flicker, it uses up the cab light function. Uh, then you've got the headlight and you've got the backup light, so that's the lighting features on this locomotive. We have our bell. We have a horn. There's a steam turbine spinning up to light the front headlight. And this is speed step one of 28, 128.
And as you can see, going forward, we get 1.8 scale miles per hour through the AccuTrack 2 speedometer. Now we'll back through the speed trap. Again on speed step one of 20, 128. If you notice, we got 3.1 scale miles per hour, and that is a function of if you have the smoke turned off, you'll get the previous reading of 1.8. So now then we'll see going forward, the smoke is now turned off, and I think we're going to get the same speed that we did the first time. We'll turn the smoke back on here. And it speeds up just a little bit. And in fact, we're going to get... ...3.1 going forward also. I believe, or in fact I know, that if you call Broadway they can send you a pigtail that you can install onto the decoder, which will have the speed with the smoke on at the same speed as with the smoke on. But overall pretty good, nice, smooth performance. If you'll notice the backup light is on on the tender as we go in reverse. Function pin turns on and off the coal auger and the firebox flicker effect. And as you can see in this video, right here, when you get at this angle from behind the cab, that's where you can see the firebox flicker effect. It does not show anywhere outside the firebox on the sides of the locomotive or anything. And also while you're at it, you can see the uh, ventilation on top of the cab roof that can be open and closed. And see the overall detail on the top of the locomotive. Overall, the locomotive is a, is a smooth runner and uh, puts out some pretty good smoke. We're going to back up onto a train and then we'll be demonstrating it running around the layout pulling a train. One trick of the trade that I have learned is it appears that the smoke fluid settles over time and if you shake your smoke fluid and then squeeze out what's in your eyedropper if that's what you're using and then suck some fresh smoke fluid up into the eyedropper for some reason that tends to really increase the smoke output.
so try that. I'm using JT Mega Smoke, but uh, I've noticed that it also works with MTH Smoke and the Broadway Limited Smoke. So apparently, even though the liquid is clear, some ingredient in the liquid does settle upon sitting. So if you want improved smoke, uh, try that little trick and see if you get better results. So we're going to back up the rest of the way to get our train. 